Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to capture MQTT messages uh, using Wireshark and uh, analyze the packets to see how the data is being sent and received over the wire. So to start with, I have uh, created two Python scripts. Uh, first one is uh, publisher.py and second one is uh, subscriber.py. So to look at the code uh, for publisher, uh, uh, we are going to use uh, Peho MQTT broker, uh, which is uh, located at uh, this URL, iot.eclipse.org. Uh, the default port, 1883. The keep alive I'm uh, using is uh, five seconds, uh, just to capture those uh, ping messages over the trace. And uh, this is the topic uh, I'm using sample topic here and uh, this is the message which this publisher will s publish on this topic now on the subscriber side uh, again we are going to um, subscribe uh, to same payho uh, MQTT broker uh, default port same uh, keep alive into and uh, we, we are going to subscribe to the same topic on which our publisher is going to publish the data okay so um, before starting uh, or before executing these files let us open Wireshark and start capturing the packets so I will open Wireshark application here so as you can see I've got uh, three interfaces uh, my uh, internet connection is uh, through Wi-Fi so I'll start capturing the data on the Wi-Fi interface you can see it has already started capturing the data so I'll go ahead and uh, start my subscriber script so subscriber is ready now I'll publish the data and you can see the data is published now I'll come back to Wireshark I can see uh, it is still capturing the data I'm waiting for uh, that uh, keep alive interval um, as I set it for five seconds I should be able to capture some of the packets here now I think uh, we can stop the capture now you can see we have got lots of data here but uh, most of it is not relevant to what we are uh, going to look at so we want to look into uh, MQTT um, protocol so let's filter it based on MQTT so now with this filter you can see all the garbage has been removed and all that we have is the MQTT packets so let's start analyzing them and see how it sends the data so the first packet that you can see is connect command and uh, you see it is going from this IP address to this IP address now what these IP addresses are so let me show you that so you see uh, the NS lookup output, output of uh, this MQTT broker iot.eclipse.org um, it resolves into this IP address 198.41.30.241 and the IP address of my Wi-Fi interface is this 10.0.1.4 right, so this is how we know this is uh, my machine this is MQTT broker and uh, this is the back the first packet which was sent okay so now come down to the headers um, so you see there is a section for MQ telemetry transport protocol if I expand the connect command you will be able to see all the details which are here now some of the details are relevant so I'll uh, touch those so first of all uh, you see the client ID this is important because while registering uh, as a client to the broker either you can um, uh, specify the unique client ID or if you are not doing that then uh, your uh, uh, application will generate a client ID and will send it to the broker so that that is what you are seeing here it is an auto generated ID uh, now if you look closely there is another com connect command here 
and most of the things are uh, same except uh, this uh, client ID. So this uh, second connect command is uh, for our uh, publisher, the second script which we executed. So first one was uh, subscriber. Uh, so this connect message is coming from that subscriber module. Now another important thing to note here is this port address. So the source port address, um, it is uh, 49327 and uh, the destination is the default 1883. Now this port address will remain same for the subsequent packets that we are going to see now for our uh, subscriber module. Now moving on to the next packet, uh, if you see here, uh, there is an acknowledgement which is coming from uh, the broker, right? So 241 is sending uh, acknowledgement to 10.014, which is my machine so you see uh, the message here connection accepted that means we are good uh, next packet that you see uh, which is going from my machine to the broker it is a subscription request now if I look here so we are it's a subscription request and uh, you see the QS QS value is 1. Now another important thing is like this topic. So we are subscribing to this topic here. So you can see uh, it's a subscription request. So uh, this is the topic. So it is going to subscribe to this topic. And you see the port number. It is still same 49327. So this is the same port number which we sent in the connect request 49327 same stuff here now again we received an acknowledgement on same port 49327 from the default port and uh, the QS assigned is uh, fire and forget that is zero though we requested for one but uh, uh, it granted only zero um, as you can see, it is a subscription acknowledgement. Now the next one is publish message. So now this this is the default publish message. This is not coming from our publisher module. So if you look at the data for the, this message, you can come here and you can see hello from Peho blocking client. So this is this is the message which is coming from the broker and uh, it is the first message so if I go back to the script where I executed our uh, subscriber so you see this back you see this data here hello from payo blocking client so this is the same thing which you see here in the packet and uh, again the port number is still seen 49327 so this is how we will uh, distinguish between our uh, subscriber module and the publisher module so now you see, see this ping request so this is how uh, it will maintain the keep alive so there is a ping request which is going from the client to the broker and uh, then there is a ping response which means yeah all good uh, I'm still here so if uh, I can show you in uh, the code the keep alive interval was set as five seconds so that is why you will see multiple uh, ping uh, request and responses in the trace okay going back uh, to the trace here now this is the second connect command which i um, showed you guys earlier so this is one connect command this second command command but this second connect command is uh, for our um, publisher module so this the second script which is publishing the data to the topic uh, that is uh, trying to connect to the broker now if you see the port number is different here right 49330 the destination is still same because we are working with the default MQTT port now 
this client ID again because this is a second client the client ID is different so this one is 363 and uh, for quick reference this one is 66E okay now this next packet publish and disconnect so there are two different uh, messages which are going uh, in this single packet so you see here so you have two MQTT protocol headers here right one for publish and one for disconnect the reason for that is because if you look at the script here what we are doing we are connecting to MQTT and then we are publishing and then we are discuss disconnecting and there is no gap here so that is the reason uh, immediately after connect you see a publish and a disconnect in the same packet and that's the beauty of uh, MQTT messages and MQTT protocol because it can handle all those things and it can uh, save the overall uh, transmission bandwidth uh, by sending multiple uh, uh, packets or multiple um, messages into a single packet so here uh, if you see the publish message you see the topic it is publishing on this topic and it is publishing this data so both the things you can see here so if you want to match it with the script you can see this is the topic and this is the message now for uh, disconnect it is simply sending a disconnect request now um, the next one next packet connect acknowledgement so this one is coming for uh, 330 and uh, this one is the connect command was for 330 so you see uh, it sent a connect command and immediately after that it sent a publish and disconnect message now after it sent a publish and disconnect it received acknowledgement for this command connect command but anyways that's the TCP connection so all those things will be taken care by layer 2 layer 3 stuff okay um, you see this publish message now what is the difference between this publish and this publish so now this publish message is coming to our uh, subscriber module so the other script which is uh, listening to that topic now how would I know that uh, this message is coming to my um, subscriber uh, module so as we know the first connect command was uh, for our subscriber because we uh, executed the subscriber first and then we executed our uh, publisher so if you see the port number 49327 this is the port number that was selected while sending the packet now if I check here 49327 so the same port we can see here so uh, this is how we know it is coming to uh, the subscriber module now what has uh, the subscriber module received so you see this is the data hello MQTT and this is the topic so on this topic this message was published and now this message is coming to the subscriber now if I go back to my script or uh, the terminal where I executed it this is the message which we see here so this is coming in this packet right and uh, now uh, you have uh, all those keep alive so ping request response ping request response and then ping request. and if you see I um, 
selected five second uh, keep alive let me go to the script and show you so uh, keep alive this is anyways publisher so this won't make any sense um, in the subscriber so this is five second interval which we have selected so now if I go back to the trace and look at the timestamp you see there is a difference of five seconds so a request this request and this request all are almost five second away from each other so this 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 and this so you can also check that interval here yep so that's it uh, this is how you can uh, capture and analyze the packet in case you need to troubleshoot uh, something while handling uh, the MQTT um, packets or protocols or while you are writing the code for the client uh, I'll be uploading this file uh, um, onto the repository I'll give the link in the video links um, the video details you guys uh, can download this file and can analyze it with the, your uh, Wireshark installation okay thanks for watching have a good one bye bye